section 14 the diagram shows the position of a lighthouse and a harbour so there's the lighthouse and there is the harbour and we're told that the scale of the diagram is one centimeter represents five kilometers work out the real distance between l and h so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the distance between l and h and then work it out using the scale so you need a ruler for this take your ruler Line it up, I make that out to be seven centimeters. So seven centimeters there, seven centimeters, and seven centimeters implies 35, 35 kilometers. For every centimeter, we go five kilometers. So 35 kilometers. Measure the bearing of H from L. Okay, so let's just move this to the side for a moment. Measure the bearing, so we need a protractor. And this is where people get tripped up a lot. Of H from L. So we're measuring from L. So I'm going to put my protractor at L. We're going to measure in a clockwise direction. That's this way. Clockwise direction from the north line. So line it up properly. going so that there we go we're going to measure from the zero on this track and work all the way around and I make that out to be 110 degrees so 110 degrees okay the next part a boat B is 20 kilometers from H on a bearing of 0 4 0 on the diagram mark the position of the boat B across X and label it B Okay, so it's going to be 20 kilometers, which may, and if one centimeter is five kilometers, five times four is 20, so it's going to be four centimeters from H on a bearing of zero four zero. So it's, it's from H, so from H on a bearing of zero four zero, so it's about 40 degrees, something like that. I'll erase that in a moment. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your protractor, put it on H because it's from H, 40 degrees. There's 40 there. I'm going to put a little mark. Okay, and then move it away. Don't need this anymore. I do need my ruler now. I do need my ruler. Um, we want it to be four centimeters so I'm going to place the zero there rotate it around so that it's in line with my angle and I need to go four centimeters out and we draw a straight line up four centimeters it's a little bit too much a little bit easier to do it with a real pen and pencil and then we've gone too little. Anyway, hopefully you get the idea. There we go. Now it's gone again. Anyway, um, and we've got to mark it with a cross and label it B. So mark it with a cross and label it B. And there we have it. It's all three parts of that question done.